Okay, here I am again. So um, today it's um, uh, well um, a little bit annoying day because uh, I've just uh, got well the information actually yesterday afternoon that uh, the flight uh, for my wife has been cancelled again. So she's still in Dublin, and uh, well she was she left on the 11th of March. And uh, then, uh, because of confinement, uh, it was changed to the 24th of April, to the 1st of May, to the 8th of May, to the 1st of June. And uh, as of yesterday, that's not possible anymore. And uh, now it has, uh, there was a very friendly chap of Luxair, uh, the Luxembourgish uh, company, uh, on the phone. And uh, he um, told, well, he said, okay, listen, um, if she's coming back from Dublin to Luxembourg, that will take uh, until July. So uh, he obviously uh, understood that I wasn't too pleased about that. So uh, he then checked and he said, well, there is a possibility if she will go through um, Copenhagen. So Dublin, Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Luxembourg. So hopefully that will be on the 9th of June, just two days short of three months. There you can see what COVID-19 does to, uh, to, to some people. So uh, I haven't been without my wife probably for, for a week uh, in their uh, 25 plus years that we've been together. It's probably almost uh, 30 years. I, I made another video about that <laughs> where I told you. Um, so it's, um, it is an experience. It's an experience. Um, two of our three children are, are with me right now, uh, so they're confined as well. They're working from home, school from home, uh, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's different. It's uh, it's an experience for all of us, uh, but we're managing. And um, I already told you that I'm. Um, um, from hotel management background, so I know how to cook, and um, that that helps definitely helps a lot. Another thing that I um, prepared, um, well, I actually prepared over the last couple of uh, weeks. I prepared uh, three different tiramisu. Uh, one was uh, with uh, the, uh, the yolk and the white uh, separated. The other one was with uh, the uh, uh, the eggs uh, beaten up over bain marie, um, and um, then it became creamy, and uh, the, the mascarpone was put in it. Or lifted in it and uh, now today I, I tried my own version which was um, basically uh, whipped cream with um, sugar and uh, the uh, the mascarpone lifted under it uh, and, and you'll see it um, I, I will post attach the video um, after this uh, this little video and now uh, there is um, a day that I um, want to uh, to dedicate to uh, my um, Brazilian uh, cousins and this this one actually got uh, from uh, Marco. Uh, it's uh, Cachaça from um, a Weber house. Um, it's um, It's a speciality from Brazil. Um, it's um, um, It's good stuff. So um, I will try this one um, uh, Just to uh, to salute um, Marco and uh, and family so um, salute and Mm. I like it. It's not too strong. It's a uh, thirty-eight percent, but it's um, it's definitely um, very pleasant to drink. Even like this, not no ice in it, just um, pure. Um, just uh, so that you can see a little better. Um, it's um, it's nice stuff. I will put you the details on. Um, the video so salute all the best stay home stay safe you still have to because um, it's still dangerous and we do get some good news that uh, it's under one in Luxembourg in Germany just uh, around one um, but there in, in South Korea there, there have been uh, more uh, people infected over the last couple of weeks uh, Russia is still very bad um, Brazil is very bad um, and the states very bad as well, and we just hope that um, that they they stay confined and uh, that they don't open uh, for business because uh, that will ruin um, the, their economy, and um, we're not up to it. So, cheers, salute, all the best.
Okay, now there is another way to prepare a tiramisu. I take those uh, spritz biscuits and I squash them uh, and then I put uh, liquid butter on it, uh, melted butter on it, and then I put it in the, the fridge. Um, so basically you put the melted, bu melted butter on it, you mix it well, and then you put it in the fridge and um, it becomes a, um, a layer that you can use as a base for a cake and here in this case I'll be using it uh, for um, the tiramisu. It all flat, flattened, then it goes in the fridge for at least half an hour. Okay, there is now the, the whipped cream. Um, I prepared some um, coffee to put the, the biscuits um, in it. So um, the, um, the mascarpone be now um, put into the cream and very slowly so to have a, a nice mix and uh, that it's um, solid enough. I put um, the um, amaretto and sugar in the coffee. Yeah, now the last layer is on it and now the cocoa powder be on top of that. And there it is in the base with the cocoa powder on top and now it goes into the fridge for half an hour, an hour. Or um, as it Usually it's better or best when you're eating it the next day, but it won't last.